Dan Coco, Washington Nationals. Hey, Maxie. How's it going, Dan? Good. Uh, when did you find out definitively that you would be starting on Tuesday, that you guys would be playing on Tuesday, you would be getting the ball, and what has your pre-start routine looked like over the last uh, week plus now? Yeah, it's been uh, a lot of phone calls, uh, you know, getting a lot of information, conflicting information over the past, you know, few days of when we were actually going to be able to go. Uh, you know, we were waiting on tests. Um, you know, just a lot of it, you know, what can we do? You know, when, when can we go? Uh, and it was more importantly, when can we actually practice? When can we get together as a team? Um, uh, you know, there was, uh, you know, there was a amp to get, you know, playing today, uh, but we just didn't feel like that was going to be possible. We needed a couple of workouts as a team uh, to get going. Uh, and so that led to the decision to, to be able to play on Tuesday. So how have you tried to uh, ready your body, ready your arm, ready your mind for a start tomorrow over the last handful of days? I've just been doing my routine over the past couple of days. You I mean, once, once we knew kind of what we were dealing with, that uh, this was a, you know, kind of a significant out you know, or the potential for a significant outbreak um, that, uh, you know, this, you know, the weekend series was going to be postponed. And so, you know, on Friday, I was able to throw a bullpen. Um, and then just from there, just be able to do my kind of normal training outside of that. So um, I'll be ready to go tomorrow. Uh, it's a crazy year. <laughs> you just got to, you know, like I said, keep a smile on your face. We get to play baseball tomorrow. So I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, you're going to have to adjust to things being thrown at you over the course of a season at various points. Uh, but having to adjust now to a new opponent, uh, to a different you know, throwing schedule when you're so regimented, typically in terms of mapping out uh, what day you're going to pitch and how you're going to lead into that. Does that affect things significantly for you? No, um, I, I was pretty much able to kind of uh, keep my arm where it needs to be. You know, I feel good. I feel ready. Um, just anxious to get pitch, pitching. Uh, this is going to be fun. Finally get the player start our season. Darren Hayden, CBS 9. Hey, Max, thanks for doing this. Um, how would you describe the last, you know, four or five days from hearing the news that there's no opening day to all the postponements uh, leading up to opening day tomorrow? Yeah, just, uh, you know, unfortunate situation, but that's what we've dealt with, you know, over the past year playing through this pandemic. You know, be ready for the unexpected. As soon as you think you have something nailed down, it, it's going to be pulled out right out from underneath you. So, um you know, you just got to take this in stride and understand what's going on. Uh, we respect what, uh, everything that had, all the decisions that had to be made. And, you know, I think we made the best decision to play tomorrow. So, uh, you know, that's all I can do. Uh, I get the ball tomorrow. I'm happy. Scott Abraham, ABC7. Max, uh, again, thank you for doing this. You know, with this long break and the long layoff and trying to get in your work and figuring out when you're going to play again, do you feel ready physically, mentally to take the ball and face the Braves tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. I've been, I've been working out. I've been throwing every day. So yeah, the answer is yes. <laughs> it, it's pretty simple. And for today, seeing the guys again, group workout, you know, you guys have been part for a little, bo little while since spring training. How nice was it to kind of get some normalcy and see some familiar faces at the park again today? Yeah, well, it started last night uh, when we had a team workout just to be able to finally get that cleared so we could actually start you know, getting around each other as a team. Uh, <laughs> just a lot, you know, just a lot of uncertainty. You know, yesterday was a crazy day for me blowing up phone lines, trying to figure out everything, talking to everybody to, you know, see when we're going to play, what decisions were being made. So I know Riz and I had a lot of, a lot of chats over, over the past, you know, 24, 48 hours. Um, and then obviously today, you know, just kind of get back in routine and be coming to the park, doing our routines. And, uh, you know, that makes, that's what we feel normal with. And, uh, that's how we play baseball is we just do something every single day. Mark Zuckerman, massasports.com. Hey, Max, you talked about all those discussions you guys had to have the last few days. I know you're usually involved in all these things anyways. How complicated was it and how much say did you guys as players have in what the ultimate decisions and schedules were, where you pretty much at the mercy of MLB? Um, you know, just our argument was that we needed to, you know, we had, had we haven't been able to get into the park, um, as a team that we need, you know, we, we felt like it was going to be unfair to force us directly back onto the field 
without any type of team workouts. Um, so that's kind of where, the, you know, the position is us players, you know, let us get back into the, if you let us back into the stadium, I don't care if it's staggered or whatnot, they weren't letting us into the stadium. You know, it'd be a lot different conversation if they were. Uh, the fact that we weren't, uh, you know, that, that led us to believe that we needed a couple of workouts before we were able to play a game. Um, and so once, you know, we kind of made our position there and then, uh, you know, the MLB respected that. And then, you know, the rest of the chips kind of fell into place. And then that's how we led to a game on Tuesday. Um, and then with regards to actually rescheduling this series where you're now playing a double header on Wednesday, how actively were you guys involved in that? And, and do you have advantages, disadvantages to, to playing that game now as part of a double header as opposed to pushing it down the road? Um, yeah, that, that was kind of out of my hands. Uh, I think there was, they, they really wanted to have that double header played on Wednesday. Um, so the decision was really between a, a split double header or a straight double header. And, you know, it, that, that decision just, you know, worked itself out. So, um, you know, there, there was arguments for pushing it back in the season. Uh, you know, I tend to agree with those, but it is what it is. We're playing two on Wednesday. Uh, you know, we get to play baseball. That, that's a good thing. Chelsea James, Washington Post. Hey, Max, a slightly different uh, topic, but with the Braves coming in, and I know you're involved in all the union stuff, what was your reaction to seeing Major League Baseball move the All-Star game? Oh, um, yeah, that was a, a – that, that happened pretty fast. Uh, you know, for me, trying to be on the union, trying to talk to as many guys as possible, that, you know, it, it, it happened pretty quick. Um, and just understand – and it, a lot's been written on this, both sides of it, and it's a complex issue. Uh, that, that's the reality of this. And, you know, for me, uh, you know, I, I understand. I, you got to be sympathetic to the people of Georgia. got to be sympathetic to the Braves organization. Um, and it's a tough decision. It's a complex decision, and I'll leave it at that. Various for Lugo, Washington Post. Max, without getting into who wasn't here today, you're, you're going to take the field tomorrow and the next few days with a group that's not completely um, what you expected it to be in a situation where the games count and you're trying to make the playoffs and um, there's, it's serious competition. Um, how do you feel like the roster is – assembled to, you know, withstand that? And, and do you feel like you're, you're ready to go? Well, we got some young guys here that have an amazing opportunity. Uh, they always want an opportunity at the big leagues and here, here they go, they get a shot at it. So, um, you know, you got guys that are hungry to go out there and play and win. Uh, we got, and we feel like we got 26 guys to do that. Uh, we're ready to compete and ready to compete against the Braves. That's all we can ask for. Thank you. Moises Linares, NBC4. Hey, Max, uh, your name has pretty much become a synonym to what opening day is, like a few other pitchers in the league. Uh, the day's finally here. What does it mean to you to, to finally get out there and be the guy leading this team from uh, beginning with game one? Uh, just just anxious to finally get our season going. Uh, you know, you're always anxious to start the season, then we you know, have that big hiccup. Um, and so you're sitting around waiting uh, for it to start and just excited to give it back pitching in Nats Park with fans. Uh, that's going to be the fun part tomorrow. So uh, real excited for it, excited for our fans, and uh, excited for the opportunity that we have. Then, since there wasn't any any games for the Nationals these past couple of days, were you watching any baseball that you get to see other guys in action, maybe somebody you like? Yeah, I picked up a few games, uh, watching a few games uh, over the weekend. Uh, I, I felt I, I had to. Like, there's baseball being played, and I'm, I'm not, <laughs> not able to play right now. Uh, you know, you feel really left out really quick. Um, but yeah, just try to watch his, uh, watch games. You know, we've seen some great, great, uh, you know, plays being made and, you know, guys playing baseball at a high level. So, uh, that's what you expect out of major league baseball. Colin Song, Washington city paper. Hey Max, like you mentioned earlier, it's been a crazy year and pretty eventful 16, 17 months since the world series title, I guess, what do you think you'll remember the most? In, in this time between, you know, game five of World Series when you had fans and then tomorrow, what do you, what do you think you remember the most in this, this past year or so? I mean, one that I miss fans, they, they bring such an atmosphere to it, but also, you know, you know, I don't know, just suck it up and deal with it. <laughs> I just feel like you, you're constantly having to find your way to get through situations, uh, no matter what it is. So, um, uh, you know, you can't cry about situations. Everybody's dealt, dealt a hand and you guys got to play it. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's a good, it, we'll definitely, um, appreciate everything that comes with normal life and major league baseball and how we normally 
uh, go about our business here, hopefully sooner than later. Thank you. Andy Costco, Washington Times. Hey, Max, you probably couldn't spend as much time as usual at the park the past couple of days. So what were you kind of doing at home, maybe differently than normal to, to stay ready, be ready for tomorrow? Just trying to find a way to work out, find a way to run, um, find a way to throw, you know, you, you know, just find, a, just find a way. Just, you know, you got a bad hand. You got, you're going to have to make the best out of it. Uh, you know, I, I can, I can basically throw anywhere. As long as I got, you know, about 90 feet of flat ground, I can throw anywhere. So that's, that's what it, that's what it takes. Um, and, you know, was ready to put pitch at any time. You know, I had to be ready to, to pitch any day. Uh, you never knew when we were actually going to get cleared to actually play. Uh, so for me, it was mentally ready to throw any one of those days. Um, and it just happens to be now it's Tuesday. Were you throwing into a net or what were you kind of doing? Um, yeah, for me, just find a park and just, you know, add somebody that I was able to play catch with. Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Hey, Max, not, not, not to get into guys who aren't here, but the two catchers on the field today were Tress Brayer and Rowdy Reed. So conceivably, you'll have a new catcher for tomorrow. Um, how do you get that person on the same page? I know you throw a lot of pitches. Um, there's a lot of game planning. So what's the process like from now until game time tomorrow? Um, you know, basically have the conversation tomorrow. Okay, I got to come in here early, prepare a little bit harder. Um, just have the conversation. And, you know, I, I never really try to get stuck into I only throw the one catcher. You know, I, I don't like that mentality. I like to be able to have, think that I can throw to anybody and that, uh, you know, any type of catcher I can always work with and, uh, you know, be able to go out there and, um, you know, get on the same page with and basically win the game with. So whoever it is tomorrow, that's great. We'll do our work and we'll compete at our highest. It does start tomorrow, though? That process, like of them getting to know what you do. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. There, <laughs> yeah, I, right. there's no other way to do it. You know, we'll have our meeting tomorrow, and uh, that'll be that. Thanks, man. All right, two more. Jessica Camarado, Nationals.com. Hey, Max. When you mentioned that you threw a bullpen the other day, was that a full bullpen that like you normally would have? And do you know how many pitches you were able to get up to? Um. No, it was just a light bullpen that I was able to find um, and just was able to, uh, you know, give, get some pitches in to make sure my arm works off the mound, and that was that. You had mentioned the other day that on opening day you get butterflies. Now that this is going to be like version two of opening day, do you think it's still going to be those same butterflies, or is it like, okay, let's just get on the field now and play? Uh, the butterflies I, re I reference to is more about the anxiousness that, that I'm just anxious to get out there and get our season going and get back into the routine, get back into the grind of baseball, the, you know, every single day, you know, and, and just losing track of the days of the week. You don't even know, if, you know, the only thing that you know is it, it, either it's a day game or a night game, you know, that, that's what that we're all kind of craving. So, um, you know, you know, just waiting for, you know, that kind of moment to get for that to start setting in. That's what normal life feels like. And we'll finish up with David Aldridge, The Athletic. Max, I know you um, are big on the notion that you have to kind of just suck it up and deal with whatever the adversity is at the moment to try and get through a game in the season. Um, what do you think about your teammates being able to do the same thing? What about your group makes you feel like they might be able to do that as well as the season starts? Sorry, you cut it out a little bit. What was the, oh, can you I'm, repeat that question to make sure? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I know you're big on whatever happens. You have to deal with it. You have to kind of just suck it up and deal with it and move on. I wonder what about your teammates makes you feel like they can do the same thing and you all can get off to a decent start despite all of this adversity. Uh, I, I feel like that's been kind of our motto. I mean, look, look at our World Series run. I think everybody counted us out. We had a long layoff there and. You know, we were able to find a way to get it done then. So just rely on that experience. We got a bunch of veterans here that know how to play baseball. We got young guys that are here. Hopefully they, hopefully they, our, our mentality is contagious and it rubs off on them. I mean, that's the best thing you can do as a veteran is uh, the impact these young guys that, to get them uh, thinking in the same way. So that, I mean, it also takes our coaches as well. It takes everybody on hand. We all see, we all see what it is. We all know what we're dealing with. Uh, we're just happy to be able to compete tomorrow. Hey, Go ahead, David. You're good. I'm sorry. Uh, one other thing. Has there been any talk amongst the players about, you know, vaccines and where people are with that? Yeah. Um, you know, there's people that will, um, you know, 
never really try to get too deep into where it's at. Um, you know, for me, I, I tend to follow science. Uh, you know, I try to listen to, you know, what all the science, uh, you know, scientists say and what the experts say. And so for me, um, you know, I see the benefit of it and, you know, can't wait to get it.